We're looking at the culturally sustaining pedagogy, the teaching practices of the tutors, and it's um, based on Dr. Django Paris's research on culturally sustaining pedagogy, and it's based on culturally relevant pedagogy. And its aim is to help students maintain and also sustain their own cultural identity in the classroom. So teachers are working to help not only include their background and what they bring to the classroom, but also to encourage them and use their background as an asset instead of a deficit. I think it's really important, right? Uh, Nora discusses this concept of identity, and identity is critical, right? How we identify ourselves and how we see ourselves is so such an important piece of the human puzzle. And so I think that when we focus on that and we enhance children's experiences, what's the one thing we can control in the May Literacy Center? We see children for eight weeks, once a week, and then over the summer, it's eight straight days for two, two consecutive weeks. It's tough to control and get them to be exponentially better readers, exponentially better writers, but what we can control is how they feel about themselves when they walk out of here. Um, and culturally sustaining practices are a huge piece to that. And so my my hope is that through this work we can continue to further that, um, make better gains in that, and that this then can impact other literacy centers. There's plenty of literacy centers around the country. And then also penetrate into the, some of the schools. I'm really working hard to create good relationships with schools and already having these conversations with some of those schools and we're going to do something about it, which is cool. It's crucial that the students feel comfortable here. Um, because we are working on literacy skills, things that they need for the rest of their educational career. A lot of the students that we work with here are English learners, and some of them even were born in other countries, so they have that background as well. When we're in trying to include their background in the instruction, we're really trying to help them build their own identities also their learner identities, their student identities, their reader identities, but then just them as a human being.